Hand anomalies, uh, our children are born with congenital differences of their hand anywhere from the shoulder down through their fingertips. Uh, there's a whole spectrum of classifications in different types, but kids can be born with too many fingers, fingers joined together, absence of fingers, absence of bones uh, or joints in the upper limb. So it's a whole spectrum that we see. The most common is something called polydactyly, which is just many digits. And so you can be born with an extra small finger or an extra thumb or one in the middle in terms of extra digits. And that's uh, on average somewhere between 1 in 1,500 to 1 in 3,000 live births. And the least common that we'd, be, we'd see is something like an amputation above the elbow, which may be as high as 1 in 30,000 to 1 in 300,000 live births. So the spectrum is uh, pretty large. Usually the diagnosis is made by ultrasound, so as a part of their screening. And uh, sometimes they go on to more sophisticated three-dimensional ultrasounds or MRI scans, but mostly by ultrasound. There's very little that's done uh, during pregnancy for this, so mostly what we do is make uh, an accurate diagnosis, provide counseling for the family, and depending on the specific diagnosis, then get in, delve into the details of how that occurs, are there other associated problems that could be elsewhere in the organ systems or the body of the child that the parents have to worry about? They'll seek other consultation at that time. Uh, and then each individual anomaly or difference has a little bit of different treatment course. So uh, those that have surgery most of the time have it between 6 and 12 months of life to reconstruct the hand and that's to do it at a time before the brain really sorts out the sophisticated use of the fingers or of the thumb. So lots of surgery that needs to be done is done early. Um, there are children who are born without hands and some of those kids get prostheses at a later date in time and don't have surgery early on. And some of the differences are just really minor and are observed and the children do outstanding and so they don't need care other than observation to be certain they develop fine motor use and development in an easy way as they grow. Generally after the babies are born, you know, we've made the prenatal diagnosis, they usually come in and see us relatively shortly thereafter, but when, you know, they're stable and mom's comfortable and the household's kind of back in order a little bit. Um, and usually they've done a lot of research before after their consultation, so generally they're not in a panic state. They know what they anticipate, uh, and so unless there's a deviation from what we thought, they'll come in in the first month or two of life. They generally get into an early intervention program, so they'll see an occupational therapist or a hand therapist who will monitor the kids and be certain developmentally they're doing well. Um, and then we'll make a decision somewhere between six and 12 months of life, is operative intervention appropriate for this child uh, or not? So that's kind of the sequence in the first six months therapy, six to 12 months, the first decision about surgery. I think that one of the things that's real important for families to understand is that they worry a lot, is their child going to fit in? How well are they going to do in life? And uh, so there are two parts to that, but one is, is that the brain is much smarter than the hand. So kids who are born with differences do outstanding in life in terms of their fine motor and their development and literally choices they make both as children and, and then as adults. Um, and then the other is there's a number of studies that indicate that these kids are psychologically as healthy and as happy and as self-confident as everybody else in their peer groups from you know, kindergarten through graduating high school. And so some of that real worry about how is my child going to do? Are they going to be able to participate in activities like other kids? Are they going to have friends? Are they going to have dates? Is, is really something that fades away because these kids are just outstanding kids and outstanding young adults. They do what they want in life just like we do.